Mermaids are synonymous to their nature of in the ocean waters and alluding to people from capturing their existence, enchanting sailors to dive in for them to their ends. Well, it turns out to be that the ocean isn't the only place holding mermaids. Nestled in the middle of Pennsylvania is a river that we all know, the Susquehanna River. And it would be to no surprise to see mermaids there, because the Susquehanna is filled with mysteries, lore, and rumors surrounding it. In 1881, there was an uproar in the local newspaper of two stories of two different fishermen, Henry Laux and Sam Mattis. While fishing, they both saw something in the river that they never saw before. Henry Laux, near Dugan Run by the Susquehanna River, saw a mermaid six times deep within the water. That was on June 11th, and the Lancaster Examiner wrote, One of our oldest fishermen reports the discovery of one of these rare nondescripts in the river, about a mile above town in the deep water opposite Dugan's Run. He has already seen it five times, always either early in the morning or late in the evening. He says, as it comes to the surface, looks around it, then gradually sinks down, leaving its hair floating on top of the water for a moment, or go and finally disappear. It has the face of a woman and beautiful glossy black hair, but as it is, only shows itself down to the shoulders. He cannot tell what the other end is like. He said it could shoot it, but is afraid he might be arrested and tried for murder. And it would bring him into trouble. On being asked if it had a comb or a looking glass with it, quote, it might have had, but he didn't see it, and supposes it has a cave somewhere in the bottom of the river under the deep water. Mr. Henry Laux, the fisherman above alluded to, is well known in town, and he is considered as a reliable as any fisherman on the river. The Lancaster Intelligencer took about a month to write about it and another sighting of his mermaid off Brushy Island. The mermaid seen by Henry Laux in the Susquehanna River about three weeks ago was seen on Saturday by Sam Mattis near Brushy Island. She wore her hair in beautiful curls while across her forehead she wore bangs. That wouldn't be the last time a mermaid was seen around the area. At least three more reports came out in the years 1883, 1912, and 1913. August 7th in the York Gazette reported another sighting in a familiar place. At Brushy Island on the Susquehanna River, a man from York County was fishing with outlines. On Tuesday morning, 3 o'clock, he heard a strange noise. Turning in the direction of the strange sound, to his surprise he saw something that had the form of a woman near a large rock, with the upper part of her body exposed to his gaze. He looked at it for five minutes before she dived underwater, and was seen no more. Two years ago, a Marietta man named Laux saw her. At this time, she wore bangs. When seen on Tuesday, her hair was plaited behind and cut short in front. Then on December 16, 1912, of the Baltimore Sun. Then the third one was the Glen Rock item from Friday, December 5, 1913. The Susquehanna might be holding some secrets, some we might not ever solve, but I love the possibility that there may be more out there than what the eye sees.